Now on a story we first broke on News Channel 5 last night at 11. We told you how a man taking pictures, he was right behind in that circle, those trash cans right there. He was taking pictures of children at the zoo and some parents were nervous. Now, while that man did not break any laws, today the zoo did decide to take action anyway. And our Jason Hackett is live now at the zoo to explain about that action. Jason. Uh, well, Kelly, as you said, the law, the man did not break any laws, but parents are saying otherwise. Tonight, the zoo making the move to kick this man out for good while also trying to reassure parents that the zoo is safe. Outrage turns to action. We have made the decision that he is no longer allowed to return uh, to zoo property. The Palm Beach Zoo making the move after this viral picture left parents on social media crying foul. Posted on Facebook by a Pompano Beach mom, it shows a man at the zoo standing behind garbage cans with his cell phone out recording that woman's daughter in the fountain area in her bathing suit. Her family confronted the man and forced him to delete the videos from his phone before police intervened. We are not identifying the man because police say he did not commit a crime and police say he has no criminal history of lewd behavior. But even so, Palm Beach Zoo spokesperson Naki Carter says it's all about making visitors feel comfortable. Our behavior is reported to us by a zoo guest um, that they see something that is concerning. We do reserve the right to ask for you to leave the zoo and we do reserve the right based on individual incidents to ask that you not return. I was hard pressed to find a parent who disagreed today, even if the man's intentions were indeed pure. You should have asked the parent, plain and simple. All of this could have been avoided. Grandmother Patty Presleski says the incident was on her mind all day. I watched extremely carefully to make sure that, you know, she was protected. She also says the move was necessary. They took very swift action and he is banned and, you know, more institutions need to do the same. Uh, now, in addition to this move, the zoo will also meet with some local moms groups that brought up this concern. Initially, the goal is to have conversation between those groups and management here at the zoo. That meeting could take place as early as Thursday. Live tonight, Jason Hackett, WPTV News Channel 5.